10 of the world's most amazing art destinations. The world is full of wonderful and amazing art. In fact, the world itself is a piece of art. Wherever we go, there got to be something that catches the sight of our eyes. That's why in this video, we've gathered some of the most amazing and beautiful art destinations around the world. Number 1. The Cadillac Ranch, Texas, USA The Cadillac Ranch is a public art installation and sculpture built in 1974 by an art collective named Ant Farm on Route 66, just west of Amarillo, Texas. The site features 10 half-buried Cadillacs, nose first in the ground that are colorfully sprayed with graffiti today. Visitors are strongly encouraged and Cadillac Ranch is open to the public at all hours. Graffiti on the cars is also encouraged and the cars undergo ever mutating layers of paint. Once the popular art piece was open for the public to view, people interested in seeing the display up close and personal would make stops along the highway. The installment accessibility quickly led to the public art being defaced, as some people who came to see it were quick to tag it with spray paint and rip off pieces as personal souvenirs. Number 2. The Sistine Chapel, Vatican City The Sistine is a chapel in the Apostolic Palace, the official residence of the Pope in Vatican City. The chapel is a sight to behold for the 5 million people a year that visit. It takes its name from Pop Sixtus, who restored it between 1473 and 1481. Since that time, the chapel has served as a place of both religious and functionary papal activity. Today, it is the site of the papal conclave, the process by which a new pope is selected. However, the chapel is home to a flood of priceless works, including frescoes by Sandro Botticelli, Domenico Ghirlandao, and of course, the famed Last Judgment by Michelangelo. Between 1508 and 1512, under the patronage of Pope Julius II, Michelangelo painted the chapel ceiling, a project which changed the course of Western art and is regarded as one of the major artistic accomplishments of human civilization. Number 3. Chapelle de Rosaire de Vence, France the Chapelle de Rosaire de Vence is a unique building which was designed and constructed by Henri Matisse as a monument to the gratitude he felt towards his nurse Monique Bourgeois. It is a profound space which combines the artistic and the spiritual and is abiding proof of Matisse's genius. From the years 1948 to 1951, legendary French artist Henri Matisse worked tirelessly on plans for the Chapelle de Rosaire de Vence, designing every element of the building from the exterior to the details of decoration. A culmination of his long artistic trajectory, it was the first time that a painter had entirely designed every detail of a chapel in such a comprehensive way and remains a potent manifestation of Matisse's artistic sensibility in his mature years. Number 4. The Louvre, Paris, France The Louvre Museum in Paris is the second most visited attraction after the Palace Museum in China. This museum has gained immense popularity given the fact that it holds a collection of over 35,000 priceless masterpieces and antiques. It houses some of the greatest paintings made in history, including Leonardo's famous Mona Lisa and the Death of the Virgin by Caravaggio. This museum is so big that it will take about 100 days to do a complete tour and cover each of the paintings. Touring the whole museum in just one day is next to impossible. The Louvre was originally a fortress that was built in 1190. It was converted from a fortress into a palace during the 16th century. After the French monarchy moved to the Palace of Versailles, the first Louvre museum was opened to the public with only 537 paintings in it during 1793. During this time, Napoleon expanded Louvre's collection by 5,000 pieces. However, the original pieces were returned to the original owners after Napoleon was defeated. However, today, this museum carries the most valuable arts around the world, so it's definitely worth visiting. Number 5. Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia Madrid, Spain 
The Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia is Spain's National Museum of 20th Century Art. The museum was officially inaugurated on September 10, 1992 and is named for Queen Sofia. It is mainly dedicated to Spanish art. Highlights of the museum include excellent collection of Spain's two greatest 20th century masters, Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. The most famous masterpiece in the museum is Picasso's painting Guanica. Along with its extensive collection, the museum offers a mixture of national and international temporary exhibitions in its many galleries, making it one of the world's largest museums for modern and contemporary art. In 2019, it attracted 4.5 million visitors, making it the ninth most visited art museum in the world. Number 6. Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York The Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York is one of the world's largest museums of fine and applied arts. With over 6 million visitors a year, the Met is the most visited art museum in the United States. The museum was opened to the public for the first time in 1870 with the aim to bring art and art education to the American people. Like the Louvre, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is an encyclopedic museum with departments covering various forms of artistic expression. The immense collection of the Met, which amounts to more than 2 million pieces, ranges from Caravaggio's paintings to Stradivari's violins from works by Picasso and Van Gogh to Balenciaga's haute couture dresses from Egyptian sacrophagi to artworks by Francisco Goya and Wassily Kandinsky to name a few. Number 7. The Rijksmuseum, Amsterdam, Netherlands The Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam is the most visited museum in the Netherlands. It houses over 1 million pieces of artwork, documents, and other important items associated with Dutch history. Although the museum as an institute has existed since 1800, it was originally founded in The Hague and relocated to the Dutch capital a few years after its inauguration. The Rijks Museum is currently able to present and display around 8,000 objects at a given time and regularly changes its exhibitions throughout the year. However, many world-renowned artworks are permanently on display inside the museum, including the Night Watch, Johannes Vermeer's The Milkmaid, and several important paintings by Vincent van Gogh. Number 8. Palace of Versailles, France the Palace of Versailles is an enchanting palace where art and nature are perfectly combined. The King, Louis, is the creator of this unique palace. Located away from the city of Paris, the stunning palace is a symbol of power. Louis gathered around him the most important figures of the kingdom. Princes, courtiers, and ministers lived in Versailles with him. Everything about the palace is one of a kind. From the rooms to the gardens, every tiny detail has been thoughtfully chosen and created so that the place could achieve its glorious look. Order, balance, and symmetry are the best words to describe it. One of his most important contributions to the Palace of Versailles is the Gallery des Glaces, or the Hall of Mirrors. Completed in 1684, this famous corridor is outfitted with 357 mirrors and crafted by master glassmakers brought in from Venice. These pans were perfectly placed to reflect and highlight the opulent gallery's gilded moldings, marble walls, crystal chandeliers, and large garden windows. Number 9. Lakshmana Temple, India The Lakshmana Temple was the first of several temples built by the Shandela kings in their newly created capital of Khajuraho, between the 10th and 13th centuries, the Shandelas patronized artists, poets, and performers and built irrigation systems, palaces, and numerous temples out of sandstone. At one time, over 80 temples existed at this site, including several Hindu temples dedicated to the gods Shiva, Vishnu, and Surya. The central deity at the Lakshmana temple is an image of Vishnu in his three-headed form known as Vaikuntha, who sits inside the temple's inner womb chamber, also known as Garbha, Griya, and Art 
architectural feature at the heart of all Hindu temples, regardless of size or location. The womb chamber is the symbolic and physical core of the temple shrine. However, the Lakshmana temple is an excellent example of Nagara-style Hindu temple architecture. And finally, the Terracotta Army China. The Terracotta Warriors are a collection of Terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. They are a form of funeral art that was used to bury people of influence in ancient China. The first emperor of China who ruled from 210 to 209 BC was buried with them to protect him in the afterlife. There are about 8,000 life-size statues of soldiers buried along with the king. Most of the statues measure 5 feet 11 inches tall, but some soldiers are as tall as 6 foot 7 inches. The statues were made to represent all battalions in ancient Chinese army. They were made by over 700,000 workers who were involved in molding legs, arms, torsos, and heads, etc., which were then assembled together. Apart from the soldiers, the king was also buried with 150 life-size cavalry horses and 130 chariots with 520 horses buried with the army. Amazingly, the horses in the archaeological site are saddled. This indicates that the saddle was invented long before the Qin Dynasty.